I'm sure all of you are familiar with Nike's slogan, which is just do it with a Swiss sign. And you probably have also heard this term analysis paralysis. Now, these are two very different approach. Just do it basically tells you that don't overthink and dive into it and get started, which is the topic of today's video. And analysis paralysis is what I see in a lot of people who are thinking about preparing for an electrical and computer exam or the PE power exam. They're waiting for the stars to align. They're waiting for that perfect time in the air where they can actually get started with the exam preparation. And in fact, that goes for a lot of things. Sometimes we have big dreams, big plans, and then we keep on analyzing the perfect opportunity where we can get started, you know, when the everything is laid out for you and then you can just go in and get it done, right? So that is analysis paralysis. And sometimes we overthink that, okay, maybe, you know what, now is not the right time. So I'll do it when this happens or I'll do it when that happens type of thing. And this type of analysis approach and overthinking in a lot of cases is going to hold you back from ever diving in and getting started. They say that the journey of a thousand miles starts with the first step. And in this video, you're going to see me answer a question from one of the students who was asking during live training session as to when is it a good time for him or her to really get going with their electrical and computer exam preparation. But before we dive into the content, I would really appreciate if you could like this video, click the bell icon and the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Yeah, exactly. Just do it. I love Nike's uh, uh, logo. Just do it. Okay. Especially when it comes to good things. Okay. You know, things worth doing. Just do it. Don't overthink. Don't, don't plan. I'll share this quick anecdote with you. I read this book, uh, Atomic Habits. Okay. Uh, most of you would have heard of it. I think I did a small YouTube video. I'm, I'm procrastinating to do a video, right? Whenever I think of content creation, my first priority is to create content more for my IP program and the, the P power program. And then the YouTube stuff is all secondary. Okay. One quick anecdote from atomic habits. And if some of you don't, and it's been happening that pretty much in every session, I'm recommending a few side books. Okay. Atomic habits. It's by uh, James Clear. I think the last time in last session, I recommended uh, uh, Deep Work by Carl Newport. Okay, so Atomic Habits by James Clear. Somebody said, keep the momentum going. So in Atomic Habits, James, James Clear actually, he ref references, I don't think he did that survey himself, but he references a study that was done somewhere in, in Europe, I think in UK, where it was a photography school. You know, people go to schools for photography in college and whatnot, right? And uh, one of the professors gave an assignment uh, to students that there was there were two groups, okay? Um, and um, essentially he gave one group an assignment that essentially what you need to do is you need to take one photograph, okay? And that is the only photograph that you're gonna be tested on, okay? So you, you essentially just one photograph, okay? And, um, and however they test photographs, I don't know, like angles, quality of light, or, you know, what the messaging is or whatnot. I don't, I don't know, but let's say this is the group and they, they are only allowed to take one photograph. Group B is like the, with these guys, you know, the idea is not that they're going to be tested on one photograph. They can take as many photographs as they take, right? So these guys are doing a lot of planning because they're gonna be tested on one photograph. So they're doing the research and everything and you know learning about it and they'll take one photograph that they're gonna submit. Whereas these guys are not doing any planning at all. Okay, no planning. What are they doing? They're just doing it. Just do it, okay? They are being tested on the quantity and essentially then, and these guys are basically on the quality of one, okay? Eventually, they will also submit one picture. Okay, that will be compared with the one picture for which these guys are choreographing. You get the idea? Are you guys clear? So these guys are relying on, you know, all the aesthetics, all the learning, all the textbooks, all the angles, all the planning. Whereas group B is focused on just taking a bunch of pictures here and there and trial and error and learning as they're going and experimenting and, you know, thinking, they're not thinking through. They're not planning at all. Okay, planning is not their 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 forte. Which group do you think ended up succeeding or getting the higher grade? 
group A or group B? I think I primed you guys for that, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. The overall quality of the final submission of group B on average was much better than of group A, okay? These guys were not putting any thought into planning and whatnot, but they were just practicing trial and error, improvising, experimenting, you know, figuring things out, improvising. I'm running out of adjectives, guys. Okay, this is what this guy is, this, this group is doing. Whereas they, these ones are thinking, you know, when the stars are gonna align, you know, I'm gonna go to that spot and then this angle and then and with this type of shutter rate, I, I don't pretend to be a photograph, uh, photograph expert. But those of you who have some knowledge of photograph, you know that there's so many things that they are always looking for. And then I'm gonna take that, you know, one amazing magical shot and that's what I'm gonna submit, right? Overall, no, these guys ended up doing better. Okay, uh, has anybody uh, participated in a test in a group activity where they give you a bunch of matches or, you know, sticks uh, and then you actually have to uh, create a bridge out of it? A lot of times these are done at like team building events and things like that, okay? Anyone? So they'll basically just give you a bunch of blue, a few, uh, you know, threads and essentially you're, you'll be asked to basically uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, make a bridge and they'll test the bridge for its sturdiness and whatnot. You know, the group all that, that outperforms a lot of times on that test, it's actually kids. Kids are generally able to, you know, outperform adults when it comes to building bridges or the marshmallow test and all of the marshmallow test is actually a different one, but building that type of bridges. And the reason is they don't put a lot of thought into what they're doing. They just have that playful attitude. They just do it. They just get started. They'll, they'll go ahead and, you know, experiment and then, you know, make mistakes. Whereas adults will be, I've participated in some of these tests uh, during group building, team building exercises. And I like, People are just always trying to outsmart everybody else and, you know, act smart and, you know, what the shape of the bridge should be like this or it should be like that. And then, you know, there should be more weight distribution here, more weight distribution there type of stuff. But kids and their studies done, they just, you know, uh, they just get get going with that and they, they end up doing better. Anyway, so the focus is, you know, we need to get started, you know, put yourself to the drawing board and basically get started with this, okay? I hope you found this video helpful. If you're preparing for FE Electrical or P Power exam and are interested in learning more about my exam preparation resources and how they can help you fast track your exam preparation effort, I would recommend you to check out the details in the description of this video. Thank you.